Dead friends push me into a corner. Wait, isn't this what you used to repeat when you would sleepwalk? What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most dynamite show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my mercurial co-host, Graydon. <laughs> That one's gone. <laughs> See ya! Today we're learning the language of love. This is Guess, Guess the Song from, from the Google Translated, Translated Lyrics. lyrics. Alright, here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna see some lyrics that have been put through a set of Google translations. And we're gonna have to try to guess which song the original lyrics come from. Mm -hmm. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus Amanda in Mississippi. <laughs> M-I-S-S, you're going down. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-S-I-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-P-
laundry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, it is. It is kind of like a dryer cycle, you know? Yeah, if you did that for like a <laughs> while. 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Here, here. This is throwing the clothes up. And then this is the cycle. Or the fold. Oh, like, it could be the fold. Maybe it does come from that. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, definitely does. Scientifically. Spa, I have a Spanish girl who speaks English. Oh, I feel a little English. I know the language of old dogs. <laughs> Absent bad goats cannot dance, but his theft is great. But he takes a donkey, but he eats stank and robbery. Ants have to wash their cats. And the worst part is I know exactly what song this is. You do? <laughs> yeah. Like, ants have to wash their cats? I really would love to watch a church service where they just replace all the readings in mass with stuff like this. Because oh. they read it like that. Yeah. They don't quite, the people who are reading it are just like random people yeah. from the congregation. And so they don't quite understand everything that they're reading because it was written so long mm -hmm. ago. And it would just be funny to be like, absent bad goats cannot dance, but his theft is great. Ants have to wash their cats. Do they clap in church? No. Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> I, would I would love to go to a church and get, like, rowdy. Like, right after the, what is it, opening statements? Opening yeah. argument? Is that what it is? No. When the, what the pastor does? Well, whatever he's done reading, like, we have, like, four people in the back, and we're like, whoa, yeah! <laughs> we bring, like, foam fingers yeah. and say God. God, 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 G-O-D, G-O-D. And then the second part of Mass, when they get to the, the gospel, the New Testament, uh -huh. we go, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, all the apostles, all the apostles, 40 days until he comes back. Oh, we could get three of us and do a G-O-D on our yep. chests, and we kind of pull that off. Like, And when they get to the part where Jesus dies, we kind of put on our rally caps. Yep, we he hope comes, and yeah. they have and hope he comes back. Mm -hmm. That's good. If church was more like going to an NFL game, uh -huh. I think I'd be there every Sunday. <laughs> and then nobody would have a problem with all the kneeling, you know? Three, two, one. Coochie language, Y and J. Uh, I did Dream House by Death Heaven. <laughs> this is Coochie language by Y and J. <laughs> I'm a Spanish bitch, but she don't. Ah, fuck. Ah. She know English, but she don't know Coochie language. <laughs> Got a Spanish bitch, she know English, but don't know Coochie language. Ah. Bad bitch don't know how to dance, but her booty shaking. Ah. Bitch shaking ass in the club, but your booty stinking. Ah. <laughs> bitch need to wash that little cat, her coochie stinking. Ah. Hey, Riley. Yep. What's like the last place you've been truly kicked out of? Ooh, gift shop of the Elvis Presley Museum in Graceland. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd you do? I was pretty messed up on kind of like a <laughs> cocktail of like a bunch of different drugs and stuff. Oh. So I was kind of stumbling around, bowling a China shop style, knocked over a few guitars. Oh. And then some guy came up and was like, you gotta get out of here. Are you sure you weren't like tripping? Huh? Huh? No, I was tripping. I was tripping, falling uh, all over the place, <laughs> yeah. hitting stuff and just knocking stuff over. You know, here's a little hack for Graceland mm -hmm. because it's owned by the state. Yeah. It's public land and it has to be open for like free to the public for one hour of the day. This is how they maintain like tax haven type situation. Yeah. And I, th I believe it's 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Every day of the week, you can get into Graceland for free. Really? So if you're like driving through or something at a weird hour, you can get in for free at that time. Otherwise, it's like 25 bucks. Mm. Well, I don't want to go back. I thought it was a Paul Simon thing. So I pulled up. I was really <laughs> excited. and yeah. You can call me Al, am I right? <laughs> He's like, I heard a dog. <laughs> Paul Simon's alive. They can make museums about alive people. I guess. There's the Grady Sizemore Museum in Cleveland. <laughs> I need money to manage my life. True. Respect my heart or dilate my face. I want to be as big as a chef as an Eiffel Tower. Then within 72 hours, I saw the world. <laughs> I can't remember the track title. This is what liquor and drugs will do to your brain. Mm. Close off the memories. Oh, that's right. You have short-term memory loss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Oh, holy shit. Do you work for Vanity Fair? No. Three, two, one. Backseat freestyle. Fuck. Gaspacho is the <laughs> name of my guest. <laughs> Backseat freestyle by Ninja Kwan. That's the one. Damn, I feel amazing. God damn, I'm in the Matrix. My mind is living on cloud nine, and I'm, my nine's never on vacation. Two, two, like a ballerina. Here's something I was thinking about earlier. Mm -hmm. I was imagining a world where rather than parents naming babies, mm -hmm. Everybody picks their name at the age of 18. But what do they call you until then? Maybe it's like you have a placeholder name that your parents give you, but everybody changes their name when they're 18. Kind of like a, maybe like a family lineage name 
up until 18. Yeah, just like anything. Like yeah. you have a name, but then when you're 18. You have to decide for yourself what you would be called the rest of your life. Yes. I kind of like that. I do too. I feel like that would lead to a lot better results. Yeah. But also, I mean, think about the tattoos that 18 year olds right. get. I was going to say, <laughs> the decisions I made at 18, I would not want to be living with now because I am and I'm regretting them. Well, what would your name be if you think you, if you would have chosen at 18? Probably like Ziffle. Really? Or like Xander. Something with an X. Ziffle? Ziffle. Is with an X? Yeah, I'd spell, like, I'd spell it like X-I-F-L-E. Like Ziffle Ball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine probably would have been Football. I would have I would have named myself Football. That's cool. Just so like to try to, you know, Fit form in some with... sort of relationship with my father, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you love football, right, Dad? I'm football. You like you love me, right, Dad? I do love football. It's gonna be football or pretzels. I'm yeah. like, I see you eat pretzels all the time. Do you love <laughs> you love pretzels? <laughs> or Michelob Ultra. <laughs> Michelob Ultra. What if McDonald's got a liquor license oh. and had the Mick Michelob? Mick Michelob. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the Mick Michelob Ultra. Or I wish, you know how there's like the Travis Scott burger, the mm-hmm. BTS meal, that whole thing? I wish they did that in the 80s so they could have had the McMichael McDonald meal. McMichael McDonald. <laughs> I can't forget all my cheeseburger and fries again. Friends, dead friends, push me into a corner. Friends, dead friends, push me into a corner. Wait, isn't this what you used to repeat when you would sleepwalk? Friends, dead friends, push me into a corner. <laughs> friends, dead friends, push me into a corner. I see dead people. Pass the meatballs. Yeah. I would say stuff like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then I would usually end by, you know, well, I'd levitate, but I'd poop in the freezer. That was my, like, calling card, if you will. Oh, I never checked the freezer. Yeah, well, it's full of poop. <laughs> Yikes. I bag it up nicely, though, and I write the date and my name and my mood. Oh. And what I ate the day before. Very astute for a sleepwalker. <laughs> I'm a lot smarter when I'm unconscious. <laughs> I will tell you that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Exo Tour Life. Oh, I did that too. Exo Tour Life. Is that nice. Yeah. Does that stand for Hug and Kiss Tour Life? Uh, I think it's the weekend's label, but uh, that was named after Hugging and Kissing. Ah. Yes. Oh, just a hug? Yeah. Push me to the edge, all my friends are dead. Did you ever get like a Valentine's from like your middle school girlfriend or something? You ever get like a card from someone who was crushing on you back in the day? Yeah, middle school girlfriend, yeah man. I just liked when you'd get the letters instead of XOXO, it was just X's, you know what I mean? Is the X the kiss or is the hug the X is the kiss, cause like. Really? That makes an X shape? (laughs) Yeah, you can, close your eyes. The sound will make that shape. What's the sex letter? Triple X. <laughs> really? Yeah, so triple three X. kisses equals sex? Well. I think it's a little problematic that you think that if somebody you're romantically involved with, you just get rid of the hugs and just have, like, you never hug your lover? Yeah. What's the point? What? I bought her a Birkin. Rainfall. Harvest. Harvest. Smoking in a hot fridge. Meet the woman. This is her. <laughs> Prepare the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, What? <laughs> This one is confusing. Meet the woman. This is her. (laughs) Prepare the pot. Prepare the pot. (laughs) Harvest is the ad lib. That's what I'm confused about. Just harvest. (laughs) Oh, I I got got it. it. I got it too. That's how I got it. I can't believe I did the ad lib that way. Yeah. I just can't remember the track name again. I can't remember the most basic songs. Oh my God. Ah. You got it? Yep. Yes. I'm so glad you got it actually. Three, two, one. Bad and bougie. Wait. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what I wrote, Bad Bougie! Bad and Bougie, Migos. Yes. Let's go. Do you remember the John Mayer video? That, like, honestly, was like a TikTok before TikTok, where he went on a computer on Finder, on, like, his Mac. Yeah. And went, like, desktop, airdrop, put them all files in the Dropbox, like, yes. something like that. It was, like, right when the song was really, really big. Yeah. John's cool. a genius. Yeah. Four to four, like Wendy's. Home Depot four for four would be sick. If you got four dollars, you can get, like, a rake. Where else do you buy your four by fours? When I go to the club, (laughs) I have a big penis. It broke and opened. I bought it in the store. There is a lot of ice on the coast. People love it. It's not good. Here's the new ass. When I go to the club, I have a big penis. (laughs) It broke and opened. It broke and opened is not good for penis. No. (laughs) That is bad for penis. You you can survive a break, (laughs) but when it it opens, people love it. It's not good. Here's the new (laughs) ass. Three, two, one. Thrift Shop Macklemore. Creep by Radiohead. (laughs) 
This is Thrift Shop by Macklemore. Yes! I got a big what up, I got a big cut. Of course! Dude, speaking of McDonald's meals, the McMacklemore. And it's like old burgers they're reselling. Thrift burgers. Thrifted burgers. Thrift shop meal. Oh, a thrifted restaurant. You just thrift food from other restaurants. <laughs> And resell it for That's cheap. So good, yeah. You like go around. Are you? What are you guys throwing out today? Are your beans old? Like which soup did you have yesterday? Oh. I take it to my restaurant and sell it to like hipsters wearing plaid and three quarters length jeans. Yeah. All right, I have to burp. Let it go. <laughs> my burps are like that. I just breathe out. Yes. My belching has kind of become part of my personality. Yeah. I think people are into it. I'm not. I do not like the sound of the belch. I'm not I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying. I just thought I'd they throw my two cents in. I don't like the sound of the belch. I like when burps are normal. Mm -hmm. Your burps are like, let me see how loud I can make this. I think that's my problem as a kid. That's just how I learned how to burp because it was impressive and now I'm stuck with it. You were like the burp king of Swanton. Absolutely. And now you're just out in the world being yeah. an adult man going, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm still the king in my hometown. <laughs> I love it when everything is dirty and hot. Yeah. I turned the city into a cemetery. I made a long walk and found this park. I have written stories and more. I turned this city into a cemetery. That's actually a bar. Yeah. That's cold. Pooh Shiesty should say that. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next line is kind of like what your mom would be telling you on the phone. I took a long walk today and I found this park. <laughs> <laughs> they had a fountain and I threw a penny in and I hoped that all your dreams would come true. Three, two, one. 21 Savage running. Hate it or love it. 50 Cent. The remix with the game. This is Hot by Gunna and Young Thug. Ah, okay. So it's everything Liddy, I love when it's hot. Turned up the city, I broke off the notch. Got some more Millie's, I keep me a knot. I created history and made me a lot. Where's Cemetery come from? I actually have a hot take about this song. Yeah? Uh, I think it's an amazing beat. Mm -hmm. And they should have given it to Nav. Well, you think that about a lot of songs. That's true, yeah. I said that about uh, Justin Timberlake's Cry Me a River as well. Oh my god, <laughs> if Nav did that. Nav could hit that. I gas! Gas! <laughs> goof! Gaff! Goose gas! Goof! Goof gaff! What's a koala? What do you mean? What is it? What's a koala? I know it's not a bear. Is it a marsupial? Uh, I don't think so. No pouch. Yeah. Does it have pouch? Koala? I think, I think koala has pouch. I, don't, I think koala does have pouch. Koala no pouch. Koala pouch, I think. Koala pouch? I think koala pouch. I thought koala no pouch. What's koala? Let us know what koala is. <laughs> Chat, comment, koala. Let us know. Question. What is, what is koala? Koala Harris? <laughs> we did it, Joe. Last one. I'm crazy. Uh, me. I loved the two doors. I loved driving. <laughs> I was looking for you. Yes. It's going. It's not long. Was the two doors like a musical or something? I loved the two doors, dude. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> musical. Went on a date to a theater the other night, and I know I don't usually like plays, but. Ben Platt was just fantastic uh, in this musical, I gotta brilliant. say. I loved driving. Used to drive, don't drive anymore, loved it. Kind of questioning your understanding of cars, not only in what they sound like, but those jumps it was making. I mean, <laughs> those yeah. are big. And you've never driven an Acura. So. <laughs> Three, two, one. SSG Kobe Thrax. Crazy by CeeLo Green. <laughs> This is Beeline by White Rose Moxie featuring Tom the Man. Ah. Beeline! Okay, White Rose Moxie. I've been drunk and driving my two-door. That is not good. You should not be drunk driving, nope. no matter how many doors you have on your car. <laughs> I hope that wasn't Tom, too. You do not want a drunk driving mailman. That. <laughs> that one's kind of up in the air. That one's kind of up in the air because of your understanding of driving. <laughs> Here's your mail. <laughs> we really are not getting high scores though. Sums up. Sums you gotta study air. high to get high scores. All right, what's your favorite color? Oh, chat says orange. Okay. All right, well, thanks for playing along. Thanks for guessing along in the chat in the comments. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning of the video. And Graydon, would you like to leave every single person out there just beaming this video into their brain through their eyes and ears with some advice to leave or live their lives by? They say don't shit where you eat, but that doesn't mean you can't eat where you poop. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. All right, this has been Hi My TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next video. Koala make this noise. <laughs>
say this before the video. Mm -hmm. um, can you do me a favor and be less funny in this video? <sighs> no problem. I'm just trying to appeal to like a older audience, maybe people who like stuff like The Sopranos, stuff that's a little more serious, you know? Hey, Ma, what happened to that money I put in the shoebox? Don't see? make me kill you, Ma. Oh, see, stuff like that is good. Yeah. I like that. Gabagool. Okay. <laughs> Take a good, hard look at yourself. Love, Grant. So, oh man, I don't know what song these could be from. Um, <laughs> Maybe like one of those stupid poems Grant writes all the time.